Hey guys, it's Mark Dickinson here, and today I want to show you guys a hack that I found for Instagram. It's uh, how to upload your photos from your computer to Instagram. And today I'm using a PC and Chrome. Now, while this is not a new workaround, a lot of the ones that are on the internet today or on YouTube have been patched and they do not work. But this is an easy way to do it, so use it while you can. And let's jump in here and see. So first thing we'll do is visit Instagram.com from a browser using Chrome. And once you get logged in, you're going to be able to see your feed just like you normally would. The next step is you're going to right click and click inspect. Once you get to this tab here, if yours looks like this, you want to come up here to toggle device toolbar on the top left hand corner. And what that's going to do, it's going to set it up to where you can view the website and a mobile device. You can select any one of these here or edit and grab some more, but iPhone 6 Plus seems to work the best, and that's what we're going to use today. Okay, so once you get here, the next step you want to do is come up to the address bar. You're going to put a slash at the end of it, and then you're going to type in create, and then slash details. I'll put this in the comments below so you can just copy and paste it. Instagram is going to refresh for you, and also now you're going to see a little bit of interface change. Uh, the finger emulator is still here, but at the bottom, you got the home, the search, the camera app, and also the heart and your account. So when you click on the camera, it's going to pop up and show you your photos Instagram here. So let's grab this one here. We're gonna put this one in. You can move it around just like you can on the phone. You can also stretch it or fill and rotate if you want to, but we're gonna leave it just like that. Now there's no comment or the caption area down below here, but you can always come over to next. And once you get into this one, it's gonna ask you to write the caption, uh, wedding, whatever caption you wanna put in here and then the hashtags. So when you are working on your captions, if you have all your, your hashtags in a notepad like I do or in an email, you can now copy and paste them and paste in here. You can paste as many of those hashtags as you want. Um, and then once you're done with that, you can click share. It's gonna go refresh to the image. And if you wanna see it on your timeline or your feed, it's right there. Now, one of the other features that I found while doing this is if you wanna have, do some maintenance on your Instagram, from a computer, you cannot delete post. That is unfortunate, but while you do this workaround, you can definitely delete the posts that you have on your Instagram. So it works really nice if you don't wanna be on your phone the whole day and you wanna have this saved into your computer. Uh, now it will not save per se with having to go back. If you close your browser, the Instagram you know, workaround right here will disappear. You'll just have to run through it again. But once you run through it, it's relatively easy. You'll be able to do it once or twice and it will be saved in your history. All you have to do is type in C and then down and you'll be on create and get you back to where you were before you close your browser. So guys, that's all you have to do here. Uh, once you do this, you can refresh the page just like you normally would if you're on there. You can close out the toolbar on the side to see it in a bigger view. And if you look down here at the bottom, the camera and all that other stuff is stretched across the bottom. Same thing as before. You can add as many photos as you want. You can also go through and delete them just like you see right there. So guys, thanks for watching. If you'd like to smash that like button, go ahead and do that for me. Leave me a comment in the description and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and workarounds like this one here. Thanks again, guys. This is Mark Dickinson.